now on ringside for two men whose careers may have gone unnoticed by all but the most ardent boxing fans. But without these types, there would be no professional boxing. And well down the undercard for Saturday night's big bill at the London Arena, both reach milestones. Birmingham's Brian Coleman getting ready for a 100th pro fight in only seven years. And also a milestone for Peter Buckley, his 131st pro outing and a possible 100th defeat. Big night also for their trainer, one of boxing's greatest characters. You want to say anything? Yeah, I'll do that. But you want raw whiskey? Double whiskey, vodka, what do you want? You use no vodka, vodka. No, I don't drink that. Saturday at the Midlands home of Norman Nobby Nobbs. Nobby is a boxing trainer, but not of the all time greats. Instead, he provides promoters with journeymen like 131 fight veteran Peter Buckley and his latest centurion, Brian Coleman. When Brian first came up with his young I forget it, he came up with his missus and the bad guy, you know. And he said, I want you to get me to the top. I said, I can't, the lift's broke, you know. <laughs> but we, eventually we get there another way, you know. And to have 100 fights, a credit to him. Because I ain't taking the shots, am I? You know. But the beauty of all, all the fighters up the gym, if they want an hard one, they can have it. If they want an easy one, they can have that. They more or less manage themselves, really. I just like, like the fairy godmother behind them, sort of thing, you know, just advise them, say, well, do this, do that. Or, Today, the members of the gym, known as Losers Limited, are boxing in London, but they are used to this. Virtually every week of the year, they travel the length and breadth of the country looking for paydays. At the London Arena, their first job is to locate the away team dressing room and find out when they'll be fighting. Brian Coleman, Mark Ramsey, Peter Buckley. Lovely. You're the first floater. Yeah, who's Brian. That? Brian. Brian. First floater. That could be Rocky Midnight. And Peter's the third floater. Third floater. Peter Buckley may also reach a milestone tonight. Losing will mean his 100th defeat. I haven't really liked to no stick in any of them losses and that. I mean, I could say like 30 of them are disputed anyway, do you know what I mean? There's like those times I've gone up places, fought, and I haven't got the decision, but like, I don't make no bones about it. I'll just carry on with the game, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna get no favours. But, um, I just, tell us, you know, touch wood. As long as I don't get that, you know what I mean? That's, that's all I really care about, though, you know. No, I still get nervous. I wouldn't be normal if I didn't get nervous. <laughs> but, uh, it seems like a big thing tonight, because we're under fight, so it just seems like I have to, I have to box it a little bit better than I normally do. I think the best professionals in it, the best, probably the best two pros in the game. Neither of them look banged about. Have a look at them. At least they're good defensive type of fighters. They're always... It's not a nice thing what I'm going to say, but they just do enough to lose. And that's the perfect... <laughs> find out what they're like. Sometimes I'm afraid that they're liable to turn one or two good fighters over. But, you know, you ask me what they're like. They're real good pros. There's more fights here than Dunkirk. Buckley enjoys watching the other fights while he waits. Meanwhile, Nobby is hard at work with Coleman. Listen. Go on. That's it, Logan. <laughs> huh? What's that? That's it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When they're easy to grease up, they're the ones you've got to worry about. When they're not, look at that. <laughs> Go on, bro. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I need some glasses. My eyes are getting terrible. Once you've been in a few years, you know. You get to see what it's all about and what it's like, and you know, there's only there's only so many doors can open for so many people. If not, I mean, and I'm afraid I'm not one <laughs> Introducing firstly in the ring corner, fighting out of Birmingham, wearing the gold colour trunks tonight, ladies and gentlemen, appearing as a professional in his 100th contest. Please welcome. It's not often the journeyman is the first mentioned or even under the spotlight, but the boxing community tonight takes its hat off to Birmingham's Brian Coleman in the gold shorts, who at the age of 29 and after seven years and seven months as a professional fighter makes his 100th appearance. And as usual, he jumps in at the last minute to replace stablemate Carl Taylor. His opponents are never easy, and this one is a real prospect. His name, Steve Murray. His record, six fights, six wins, six knockouts. From the good news or the bad news, only the five rounds to go. <laughs> but listen, it's ain't no problem, is it? It's as hard as you want it to make it, you know? 
That's good. Done all right, Brian. Nobody said it was going to be easy, did they? Right? That's right. Definitely a big puncher, no doubt about it. A tree surgeon by trade. Gets caught by Coleman. A couple of rights there. It was a good shot. To come back with a good shot. Come on, low. Come on, work away, bro. Work. There you go. Good shot. Well done. You all right, Steve? Well done. Right, Just two rounds to go now, kid. Breathe it, breathe it. 23-year-old Steve Murray in the silver. The come forward, aggressive fighter. Coleman shakes his head. The journeyman from Birmingham. Come on, Brian, let's go. Straight back. Come on, kid. Come on, Brian. You're there now, kid. You do. Well done. Brian Coleman, 55 points. Steve Murray, 59 points. The winner, Steve Murray. That one is just he's going to give him another hundred quid. Yeah. Well done. Well done, kid. You all right? Yeah, yeah, no sorry. problem. How many arms have I got? Yeah, oh. well done. See <laughs> 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 what I mean? Yeah. They don't tell you, all of a sudden, a minute before, come on, get in, then you, gotta, you can't give them time on a peasant. Old pro Buckley, who's had no time to warm up, faces another undefeated prospect in Brighton's Paul Halpin. And true to form, he goes into survival mode, ready to collect his 100th professional loss. Low again, every time low. Go on. There you go. So is the next milestone 200 not out? That's another 74, so... Uh... Yeah, it's another three months away. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, you know, like I say, I don't know, I'll just take it one point at a time. Brian just wanted to tell his wife he was OK again. I owe you for a box of champagne, huh? I have to keep me word, don't I? Unless you'll get another manager, won't you? You'll go with Don King or somebody like that, right? Honest, please. They've done, done what they're good at, haven't they? They've fought unbeaten fighters, fought them on their own ground, short notice, and they've done... More than good, you know, I'm very proud you of You give me a minute to warm up, do you? Yeah, a minute to warm up. <laughs> you as a game as it uses you, I mean, they want... If my kid got knocked out, everybody would have a laugh, wouldn't they? You know, all the promoters, ah. But you don't let them have that privilege. Once they start getting that privilege, you're trying to pack it up, train a manager, boxer, you know. Never give them that privilege. The secret is to walk in and walk out. Boxing warts and all, but we wouldn't be without it, would we? There's no future for the game without those sort of chaps, is there, Nicky? Oh, there certainly isn't. They are the bread and butter of this game, but they're, they're just unbelievable fighters. And, uh, as they said themselves, take far less punishment than some boxers take in a whole career. Uh, Brian Coleman doesn't spar unless he gets paid for it. He doesn't box at all unless he gets paid for it. Very rarely gets hit. Peter Buckley the same. Um, as Peter Buckley said, they've won a lot of these fights but not got the decision. Um, they are true survivors who could have been, I think, great boxers themselves ha having been given the chance. Win, lose or draw though, Brendan, what they've managed to do through these long professional careers is retain their self-respect. And well, that it, is what it's all about, well, surely. It is. And, and again, to explain, the, to explain to people that don't understand boxing or understand fighters, You've got characters like Nobby Nobbs. I mean, it's a battle of wits with Nobby. When you're fighting one of his fighters and he, and he comes in as a journeyman, and many a time he finishes up turned over the favourite with his fight. So you've got to watch Nobby like a... like a, a car, He's like a cartload of monkeys. He finishes up, he's in the corner. The minute the fight starts, he's around the other side trying to help... trying to help his fighter. And all of a sudden you'd have somebody, somebody winning and doing well and nobody would get around and say, do this, do that, and he'd do it. And I've seen turnovers with him, you know, where he's upset the apple cart and gone and beat the favourite. But only by accident. <laughs> only when he's gone and done it. Whatever way he's done it, he's gone and done it. Or, you know, you've gone in, you think, well, my man's going to beat his in about two or three rounds. And he's grabbed and hold and walked away, and the referee's come over, and now he's started giving variables to the referee and breaking his concentration, and he pl plants men around the ring, which I think is great. And he adds to the game. But them, they're good journeyman fighters, and without them, you can't operate. Long may they continue.